right here in town. They got a really cute free museum. Thought you might enjoy it. We'll go inside. Check it out, guys. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> See what's in here. <laughs> what did you find? A turtle that says shello. Shello. Oh my god. Well, it looks like they have a few. Come out of your shell, take it slow, slow, and eat my dust. I think that's Sheldon right there. A couple more hanging out on each other. Some really old games. Check out the size of this coin operated organ. Wow. Seabird Orchestra has a flute, a violin, pipes, brass and snare, drums, triangle, and a piano. What did you find, Steph? That'll say something like this. Mm, oh. Lousy. Oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I still don't like this chair. I'm not buying this one. Well, you know, Steph likes her penny machines. If you haven't been with us very long, a subscriber, <laughs> Steph has a pressed penny book that she collects. Actually, has two of them now. She filled one of them up, right? I do, yeah. All absolutely. right, well, this is how it works. You put a penny and a couple quarters, spin the wheel, see what you get. Yep, you got to pick the design you want first, and I went with the world's longest beach with the road, since we've seen that coming in. And then this must be a haunted story, local haunted story that we don't know about. My friend Jake, the alligator man. We've noticed that it's on all the t-shirts in here and things. And the world's largest frying pan. And then the museum that we're actually in today. Pretty cool. All right. shot of the penny because it shines there you go guys all right we'll look around some more here i think there is something on the back oh, too there is. Uh, cool. i don't know what it says marsh free museum okay that's where we're at yeah all right well we'll look around here a little bit more figure out what else we can get into today did find Jake the Alligator Man. Steph's going to read you a little information about it here from the Evergreen County newspaper. It says, the cover headline screamed about an alligator man being found in Florida, but patrons 
of Marsh Free Museum in Long Beach Wash immediately knew the picture wasn't from any Florida swamp. Why it was Jake the Alligator Man and Jake's been a fixture at Marsh Museum since 1967 when Junior Marsh, now 65, bought him for $750 and stuck him in this glass display case amongst other oddball attractions in his store. Alright. Well, here's a little bit more of the newspaper clippings down here. Celebrated his 75th birthday. Right here in this case. It's pretty cool. Now there's some turtles. Well, right next to the world's largest frying pan is a set of world's largest chopsticks. So, let's go over and see this world's largest frying pan, guys. It's just right across the street. Well, like I said, right across the street is the world's largest frying pan. Pretty cool. You want to stand up next to that so they can see how big it is, babe? Yeah, definitely. Wow. Alright, well, I guess we'll get out of here. Figure out what else we can get into. If you, it might be a little hard to see with the glare of the sun, but it says Razor Clam squirts water on the hour from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. or to activate the spas at 25 cents. And there's their huge clam, Razor Clam, right next to the world's biggest frying pan. You know, just fry up the world's biggest clam and the world's biggest frying pan. There you go. Well, we've been walking around the little town here, found another cute little store, fudge, and a whole little like snack area. We're looking just for some sodas, just because we didn't buy enough. We drink too much soda, guys. So, we're going to look around, see if we can figure this out. All the different fudge. And a really cute uh, ice cream parlor. All right, let's see if we can get what we need and get on the road again. In 1,000 feet, turn left. Well, cruising through town here. We found the mystery machine. It's here in Washington and Long Beach. Pretty cool, guys.
Lewis and Clark National Park. State Park also. Sit you back down. And right across that bridge is Oregon, Astoria. But I think we're gonna spend the night right here at this rest area. It's on the North 401. One mile away. The pretty leaves. In a quarter of a mile, turn right. Pretty nice place to spend the night. In 600 feet, your destination will be on the right. Guess we'll park right here. So for dinner, I made a pork loin and I just cooked that in the oven for 350 for about 40 minutes. It looks pretty good there. And then I have some white rice. I just put a little bit of rosemary in there. Give it a little flavor. And then these are some rattlesnake green beans that I actually got from Brianne's garden. So I just put some coconut oil in there with a little bit of onion and salt and pepper to give those a little bit of flavor. And that should be a really good dinner. All right. I guess we'll get it plated up. Yeah. Turn the TV on and sit back and relax most definitely well that's dinner all plated up looks good babe mm -hmm. all right well we made it right here to this nice little rest area it's on the 103 three I think is what it is 104 I don't know it's right off the 101 right across the bridge here is Astoria Oregon so we'll be leaving Washington tomorrow and heading down into south into Oregon it'll be sad but that's okay we need to be heading towards warmer weather now but this little rest area will work for the night you could stay here for about eight hours which is pretty much good so We'll get up early and get out of here. Till then, we'll hope to see you again tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Patreon. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you in the next one. 